So obviously, um, you've got this uh, young crop of heavyweights coming up, and um, obviously the top heavyweights at this point in time is Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury has the Ring Magazine and WBC belt, and Anthony Joshua obviously has the IBF, IBO, WBO, I think WBA as well. And uh, basically, they were supposed to fight for the undisputed crown, but then the arbitration case came in. So, in my opinion, I, I think there's a very strong chance that the undisputed fight will not happen between them two. It's because uh, Tyson, um, Anti Josh is about to fight Tyson um, Yusek, who I think is an animal, and I feel there's a very good chance that Yusek might beat him. And on top of that, you got um, Anti Josh uh, Tyson Fury, who's who was scheduled to fight Deontay Wilder, but then that fight fell through because of obviously COVID or whatever he claims to have. So I think there's a very good chance that the undisputed fight doesn't happen. The reason why I think the undisputed fight won't happen is because obviously um, there could be a very good chance that uh, Tyson Fury, not Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua loses to Usyk. I actually think Usyk has got a very good chance in that fight. I think I, I edge it towards him by 45%. I think there's a very good chance that he beats um beats Anthony Joshua. On top of that, um obviously with this inactivity, Tyson Fury is a very volatile character and you don't know when he's gonna come back into the ring, um, whether he's gonna balloon balloon up in weight, and there could be a very good chance, even though he dominated T Deontay Wilder twice, there could be a very good chance that he's just not as motivated as he could be for this particular fight with uh, Deontay Wilder and um the fight just doesn't happen like you think it would so in my opinion there's there's a lot of roadblocks that's stopping the undisputed fight between them two happening obviously we all want to see it but because of the politics of boxing and a lot of things that are going on there's a very strong chance that it doesn't happen so if that's the case um obviously you've got this young crop of heavyweights that are coming up obviously you've got the likes of um got the likes of all these new heavyweights that are coming up like the likes of Daniel Dubois you've got Joy Joyce you obviously got these other t fighters that are coming up like Tony Yoka you've got Hergovic you've got all these other fighters that are coming up obviously Yusek is going to fight for the um, heavyweight cha championships like the the unified heavyweight championship when he fights anti Joshua so I think there's a very strong chance that um, one of these young heavyweights that are coming up are going to take up the mantle and become the next heavyweight champion now there's a big question though who's going to do it and in terms of who I think is going to do it right now I think the person that's got the best chance of doing it obviously there's heavyweights that I've not mentioned as well like the Michael Hunters of the world but right now who I think has got the best chance of doing it I think is Yusek. Yusek is obviously going to fight anti Joshua soon, and I think there's a very ch good chance that Yusek beats him. Now, the reason why I think Yusek is going to beat him is because anti Joshua has always struggled with movers. He's always struggled with fighters that know how to move. He's always struggled with shorter heavyweights. If you look at um, the person that he lost to, he obviously lost to Andrew Ruiz. Andrew Ruiz is a short heavyweight with a lot of hand speed. The one thing that Andrew Ruiz doesn't have is he doesn't have the best movement. He's not the fastest on his feet or the most technically gifted when it comes to movement. And the one fighter that is very technically gifted when it comes to movement is Yusek. So right now, my pick in terms of who I think is going to become the next undisputed, um, not undisputed, but the next heavyweight champion, I'm, I'm pegging it towards Yusek. I think he's got a very good chance of beating Anthony Joshua. In terms of the politics, I think the politics are going to be on Anthony Joshua's side just because... If you look at the fight with um, with Povetkin, the scorecards were heavily skewed in um, Anthony Joshua's favour. Although in my own card, I had uh, Povetkin winning by probably two rounds. So going up to the sixth round, I had Povetkin winning by four rounds. And I think Anthony Joshua won two rounds. If you look at the Vladimir Klitschko fight, I had... Um, Vladimir Klitschko winning up to the point where he got knocked out as well so I think the only way that uh, Yusek beats Anthony Joshua legitimately it doesn't get robbed on the cards is if he knocks him out that's the only way I think it's going to happen if that doesn't happen then there's just no way that um he, they're, they're gonna they're gonna actually fight each other like he, he's gonna get the win do I think Yusek can knock out Anthony Joshua I think there's a very good chance that he can do that there's another fighter that's on the roster that we recently saw fight and that's a Joy Joyce now Joy Joyce I think has a very good chance of winning the heavyweight title I think he loses to Yusek but I think if he fought Anthony Joshua he there's a very good chance that he beats him the reason why I think that is because Joy Joyce has got a better stamina than Anthony Joshua on top of that he's got a better chin on top of that he knows AJ very well they used to spar together as well 
there's one heavyweight that we're not mentioning and that's Tyson Fury now Tyson Fury's worst enemy is himself but I still think he's quite beatable I think there are fighters out there that can beat him the likes of a Michael Hunter I think Michael Hunter could give him a very good fight Herkovich can give him a very good fight Yusek can give him a very good fight so these are several fighters that I think could easily beat the top undisputed fighters and I think there's a very good chance that they can come up on top in terms of Hergovic, um they've all got a long way to go but I think there's a very good chance that we could see a changing of the guard these fights that nobody thinks nothing of but somehow they come along and they just uh, cause an upset and before you know it the heavyweight champion is uncrowned there's, there's a new new face in the division that's taken over and obviously I think the changing of that guard is likely to happen when anti Joshua fights Yusek. I think there's a very good chance that Yusek beats him. So yeah, that's my opinions. What's your opinions? Who do you think is going to come out on top in terms of this heavyweight division? The likely thing is, the funny thing is, there's fighters that we've not even mentioned. I think um, I think that there's fighters like F.A. Ajagba, Tony Yoka. Um, you've got other heavyweights that are coming up that people are not even mentioning. They, they could easily cause an upset. The heavyweight division is known for upset because obviously... You've got these fighters that are fighting with like these small gloves on top of that all it takes is one punch i mean any of these heavyweights can easily have a buster douglas or hashim has seen rahman moment where they just land one lucky punch and knock out the heavyweight champion it can easily happen especially with these heavyweights that are really big so in my opinion um that's what i think is going to happen i think someone's going to come along and they're just going to upset the apple cart and just knock someone one of these heavyweights out the person that's most likely to do it at this point in time is um anti um alexander yusek because obviously he's got his shot against anti joshua and i think there's a very good chance that he can win that fight if he doesn't get knocked out and if he doesn't let it go to the cards and he won't get and he doesn't get robbed there's a very good chance that he can beat AJ whether it happens or not whether he can fulfill his potential and do it is another question indeed but there's there is a strong chance that he can do it so yeah that's my opinion tell me your opinion who do you think will win this particular fight if they were to fight and um like and subscribe to the channel um, I've got a lot more content coming your way peace out